These are times rappers attack their ops. And we got to start things off with the baby. Because in 2019, the baby got into it with Cam Goldhart at the mall. Because the baby was minding his business, shopping in the Louis Vuitton store, until underground rapper Cam Coldheart ran up on him, clout chasing. He started recording the baby and tried to press him. That the baby in here talking some. He walking up on me and like he about to do something. What you don't do? What you taking your off for? The baby tried ignoring him, but Cam wouldn't chill out. The baby eventually pulled out his phone and started recording Cam, calling him scary and saying he was acting police. Scary. Then, not long after going back and forth with each other, Cam popped off at the baby, but he missed. The baby then went on to put hands on Cam, and even though we couldn't see it, everyone knew that the baby won. Shortly after he dropped them, he recorded a video of Cam lying on the ground, and you could tell he got did pretty bad. But not long after the altercation, Cam went live on the gram and said the baby didn't beat him up by himself, and that his security jumped him. Look like you need to get some new security. You know, it could hit harder. You saw. Don't jump me. I'm dolo. I got Cam wasn't done yet, since he also went back up to the LV store where everything took place and asked the security guards if he had been jumped. Security, another black man. How many people jumped on me in here in Louis Vuitton? How many people jumped Two. on me? A big one and a small one, right? Yeah. We in Louis. Why, why security got the lie? Everybody think on one on one. Two people jumped on Cohart. But things only get crazier because what Kanye West did was even worse. In early 2022, Kanye was going through it because first, he found out his ex-wife was dating Pete Davidson. And not long after that, he allegedly threw hands at someone after they asked him for a signature in downtown LA. The attack supposedly happened around 3 a.m. outside the Soho warehouse. The video released by TMZ shows Kanye screaming at his staff while a man is lying on the ground. According to people close to the situation, Kanye went downtown after a late night studio session and was in a bad mood as soon as he arrived. The video shows Kanye screaming at two women who claim they were trying to calm him down. One of the ladies can be heard saying, Give me your hand. Hey man, I'm protecting us. No, now. get away what? from me. I'm protecting us. No, I am your family. Give me your hand. Ain't no hand. The person recording the video was confused on why Kanye had just dropped the dude. Why did he just do that? No, what is wrong with him? And witnesses say Kanye was talking to a small group of people and asked him not to take photos since they didn't know what he was going through. Someone replied that it was okay and that everyone goes through family stuff, but then Kanye gave the dude a two-piece. Shortly after the incident, Kanye went on Hollywood Unlocked and broke down his side of the story. So as far as the paparazzi go, right, it wasn't a fan, you know, so it's last, three, night. last night. So it's 3 a.m. in front of the warehouse. And this dude just, he just had this like real attitude, like what you gonna do and this and that. I'm gonna just tell you that blue COVID mask didn't stop that knockout. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it probably wasn't the smartest move for Kanye to admit that he did that. But speaking of going through it, some of Youngboy's fans are too, after what he did to them. Because in 2017, Youngboy was celebrating his 18th birthday at a club. It's unclear exactly what happened, but a video surfaced online showing Youngboy attacking someone in the club. The DJ could be heard in the background trying to calm Youngboy down while he's charging at the dude. And the video cuts off before you can see how it ended. Youngboy had another situation in 2018 because he was performing in South Carolina. And a video of the concert shows Youngboy performing the song War With Us with fans surrounding him. And in the middle of the performance, someone jumps up to touch Youngboy. And many people say it was one of his ops. So Youngboy took his chain off and either the same dude or someone else tried to snatch the chain out of his hand. Without hesitating for a second, Youngboy rocks the dude in the mouth. And after a few seconds, he goes back to performing while holding the chain in the air, daring anyone to reach for it. A few weeks after this incident, Youngboy let one of his homeboys borrow his chain at another show in Greensboro, North Carolina. But mid-performance, Youngboy had stopped the show to announce that he was pissed since someone stole a chain from his partner. You see that chain you just took out my partner, Nick? Hey, that chain you just took out my partner, Nick, that ain't his chain. That's my chain. I ain't really tripping off I got too much money. My he was pissed and even threatened to hit a female fan who had gotten on stage after he stopped performing. But now, let's move on to the times King Von had to put his hands on his ops. 
because in 2012, King Von and Chicago gang member K.I. was in some serious beef and they wanted to get each other bad. And the day would finally come on September 25th, 2012, because K.I. had caught the train to go somewhere. And while on the train, he spotted King Von, one of her main ops. And the time they saw each other, things were on sight. Von punched K.I. in the face multiple times and did her very bad. And a few hours later, once Von got home, he went on Twitter and explained how things went down because he made a tweet saying, Op Dyke, get whooped on a train lacking. Think about it. K.I. acknowledged what happened with a tweet and said, my arm of my ear and I got a bruise on my face. K.I. followed the tweet and said, ain't got but a bruise on my face, but ain't tripping. That 40 cal put a hole in that opera's face. But that isn't the only time King Von got into a physical altercation with one of his ops because King Von also got into a fight with that BG Wooski in front of Oblock back in the day because Wooski was walking on King Drive and some Oblock members were standing outside. The police were also nearby, so nobody wanted to let off shots since they automatically would have been arrested. So instead of doing that, Von and Wooski walked up to each other and started throwing hands. Other Oblock members started jumping in and the police eventually had to go over there and break everything up. Von also talked a little about the situation situation on Instagram live when a troll mentioned Wooski on his live. This she love Wooski, you ain't even know no more Wooski. It's slow. Hey Wooski ain't tell you I beat his ass one day, he ain't tell you that he too done to remember I punched his ass up. But Wooski said differently in an interview with Cam Capone News because he claims he was whooping King Von when asked about the situation. You and Von got in a fight in front of Oblock. And I wanted to get your side of that story. They was standing right there and the police pulled up and they they thought they was just going to stand right there. We got the whooping their ass. But after this interview dropped, many O-Block members said Wooski was capping and didn't beat Von up. Because Shoebox Baby said, on the guys, they got touched up bad that day. And another member commented on the interview saying, on the guys, he can't fight. He threw a brick. Subscribe right quick before we move on. But now, let's talk about XXX Tentacion because his life was full of ups and downs before he passed. And one of the moments includes a time when he hit a fan in the face at one of his shows. On July 16th, 2017, X was performing in Salt Lake City at a tour stop on his revenge tour. And things got wild. He went into the crowd to connect with some of the fans. But before getting off stage, he told everyone not to touch him. When he went into the crowd, a fan grabbed him by the chest and X went off. He popped the dude right in the face. After the attack, X returned to the stage and apologize to the dude. He also invites him up on the stage for the rest of the show. But this next situation X was in is 10 times worse. Because in 2017, X was in a serious beef with Drake and a few more rappers that ended up getting physical. And X was already huge at the time, especially for his song, Look At Me. But in February 2017, Drake was on tour and previewed a new song in Amsterdam. The song was later released as KMT on his More Life project. Many fans noticed that Drake's flow on the track sounded similar to the flow X used on Look At Me. So X fans started to go at Drake for stealing his sound. Drake addressed the controversy in an interview a few weeks later and denied stealing the rapper's flow. But admits the first few lines are similar. X ain't believed Drake's explanation and went on IG to diss him. He also tweeted, Drake's career is almost over. He better start investing money into real estate, because once it's all over, he really gonna see the fake love. He also made several more tweets dissing Drake and on a radio interview. Drake ain't responding publicly to the disses from X, but his homie Offset did, and that's when things got bad. Offset went live and recorded himself listening to an interview with X where he disses Drake. Offset would then say, you silly. Not long after that, Offset also went off on X and multiple other rappers for wearing upside down crosses. He went on IG Live and said, All y'all went upside down cross. Even my little partners, man. Well, Stop that shit, boy. You look lame. All that worship the devil shit. He was God, man. A ton of rappers who reps the upside down cross would go off on Offset. And X then jumped in to defend the rappers wearing the upside down cross and took shots at the Migos. Hey, man, tell the Offset. Get off, man. You know what I'm for, man. Yo, man, always on somebody. Man. All set. Then the beef peaked in November 2017 after the Migos allegedly caught X lacking and jumped him in LA. X hopped on social media and let all his fans know he got jumped by the Migos outside his hotel. His face was pretty bruised up and he posted several videos going off on him. Migos, straight off. <laughs> look, look at this. Y'all 
had a chance to me. How you have fine ain't me. X also posted a video that allegedly showed Takeoff running away from them. X doubled down on the disrespect by taking shots at Cardi B because he posted a pic of Cardi to his Instagram with the caption, just letting you know, bae, I don't got no pressure with you. I bump Bodak Orange when I shower. I love you. X continued going at the Migos on social media for several days. He even challenged Offset to a boxing match and said that if he ain't accept, it's because he was scared. And eventually, it was revealed that Takeoff was not involved in the situation or any of the official Migos. The dudes who jumped X had a similar style to the Migos and were rocking Migos merch and chains. And many fans believe that the actual Migos sent these dudes out to handle X. The Migos kept their mouths shut about the incident and never confirmed or denied the rumors. And now, let's move on to Fulio and Lil Papa's situation. Because back before both artists blew up, people were comparing Fulio and Papa on social media. And Fulio commented that he was better. Things eventually got so serious that both of the rappers got into it with each other inside Foot Locker. Fulio told a couple different versions of what went down. He did an interview with Say Cheese TV in 2021 and said the fight happened because Papa kept sneak dissing him in songs. Another shocking thing you mentioned in the, in the record was Lil Papa. Um, what's the history with, with you and him? We got him, we fought, I beat his <laughs> <type. laughs> I had beat his <laughs> in the mall and shit. Me and my little cousin coach that beat his in the mall and shit. Yeah. That. Then, a couple of weeks later, he told Cam Capone News that Papa saw him at the mall and was being disrespectful. I'm in the men's foot locker, and Papa like pointed at me as I'm walking out the um the um, men's foot locker. He pointed at me. He was like, "Man, it's him, man. He too disrespectful, yada yada yada." He was like, "Um," <laughs> he said some, shit. and I was like, "Man, y'all know what is on, man." Dead for real. And there's a little footage of the incident, and you can see Fulio and his partners on the ground tussling with Papa and the dude he was with. A few years after this incident, Fulio also allegedly pulled up to Lil Papa's show in Jacksonville to confront him about everything, but Papa wouldn't come out and face him. After that, the beef died down since Fulio let it be known that he didn't want it to get way out of hand. But things got way too out of hand with Quando Rondo and Dirk. So click this to see Lil Dirk's most disrespectful moments.